Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to show you how to sell digital products on WAP. So I will be taking you through the entire process showing you how to sign up to WAP, how to set up your store, how to set up payments and then how to actually create your digital products that you are going to be selling. So jumping in to get started with WAP, I would recommend using the top link in the description of this video as with this link this is going to take us straight over to the onboarding area where we can go ahead and we can get started with WAP right here. So in this area, all we do is enter in the email that we would like to use for WAP. Once that is entered, they are then going to send us over a code to this email. So we just want to go ahead and verify this. And once that is verified, we can then go ahead and enter in our name. So Riley Holden, we can enter in the name right there. So instead of Riley Holden, I'm going to call this G force north just like that and then on this next step you can either choose your own profile picture or you can go for one of the WAP avatars so this doesn't make a huge difference we could upload an image here but I'm just going to choose one of these and click on save. The last thing that we have to do is join one of these WAPs just to get this set up on the home feed. So the one that I recommend going for is just WAP clips right here. We can join and then load into WAP right here. So once we have loaded into WAP, this is where we are now going to create our WAP store in order to sell our digital products. So the first thing that we are going to do is create a name for this. So mine is going to be called GForce North, just like that. And then once this is entered, we can click on continue. We are then going to in what does our WAP help people do? And this is going to be shown on your WAP store. So in here, I'm going to say that this teaches people how to sell digital products online. This is going to be the goal of my WAP. This is what people are going to learn. From here, we can then choose our WAP link. So this link right here is where we can send people and they can join our WAP group. So we can customize this, but I'm just going to leave this as it is. I quite like this. We can go continue. And just like this, it's now going to build out our WAP. So the very first thing that we are going to do is from this list right here, we just want to click on create your first post or app. And in this area, this is now going to take us over to our WAP. This is the back end of this. And this is where we can add all of the apps. We can add our courses. We can add our digital products. We can add everything that we need to in here. So in this area, we can go along the top. And in each of these sections, this is where we can add all of the apps that we want to have as part of our WAP. So the first thing that we can add is a chat. And this is a chat that allows our users users to talk live. So all we have to do is go in here and if we want to add this, we click on add app. So let's go in here and we can maybe create a few chats. So we can maybe call this Instagram chat. Right? And then this chat here is going to be talking about Instagram promoting digital products on Instagram, uh, Instagram reels, people can post their links. And in here we can click on create. Once this is created, you can now see that we have this chat in here. We have our Instagram chat as the first one. And then when we have people joining our community, they can come in here and they can say, hey, what did or what do you think of my reel? And then they can post a link right here. That's going to be dropped in and then people can reply. So then we could go ahead and we could add another app right here and we could call this one uh, YouTube chat just like this and then we have two different chat areas for Instagram and YouTube where our community can come along and chat in these. With any of these chats or anything that we add to our WAP we do have a settings area so we can add like a description right here we could so we could say like talk everything Instagram with our community. Then we can go down. Do we want to allow people to take screenshots on iOS? Do we want this visible or hidden? We can click on save and then this is now going to be loaded in. So that is the chat section right there. We can then go along to earn and with earn we can create like tasks and pay people for completing them. We can do content rewards or pay for views. So with this for example we can go in and this is a crazy example. Tattoo our logo on your arm. People can submit this and then you can pay them out a certain amount. So that is the earn tab right there. That's how we can add those in. But the learn tab is the main tab that we are going to be looking for when we are selling digital products. So in here, in the learn tab, we can add an app and you can see we have courses, we have files, so digital downloads like PDFs and templates and eBooks. We can add these in right here. And then we also have documents. So if you want to have like a, just a long document, such as a guide, as it says right here, we can go ahead and add these in. So the main things that we are going to be adding is courses and files. 
I'll show you how to create both of these. So first we can go in and we can create a course and I'm going to call this uh, zero to 10K with digital products. So we can go zero dollars to 10K with digital products just like that. We can then click on create right here. Then we can go ahead and set up the course. So we can click begin course. And then here we can go ahead and start creating this. So the course, we are going to have the same name. Click on continue. Course tagline, we can add this in. This course will teach you how to, how to go from zero dollars to 10k per month with digital products continue we can add a description right here so i'm just going to type this but you would actually type a description here and then this is going to load in so what we can now do is go ahead and customize this and actually create the course so the first thing i'm going to do is upload an image right here and if you're wondering where to create images i recommend doing this on canva and i'll leave a link to canva in the description but we can go ahead and add this image in right here and then we can go down and actually create the course so we have chapters and then we have lessons in here. So the chapters are the modules and then the lessons are the individual lessons. So we might go for chapter one and we can rename this, let's say module one right here. Uh, welcome to the course. Then that's going to be saved. And then we can click into each of these lessons to add the videos, add some text, change the titles, all of that good stuff. So we could click into lesson one right here. And in lesson one, we can go ahead and change this to be lesson one, uh, what, what you will learn, right? And then we can go ahead and upload a file right here. So I can click in and I can upload my video. This is now going to load in and upload. So just give this maybe a minute or two to fully attach. And then down here, we can go ahead and upload any additional attachments. If you have any like files or checklists that you want to upload, you can do that right here. So let's just give this a few seconds to fully load in. So we now have this video uploaded. This is lesson one. And then we just go down and do the same for lesson two, lesson three, upload the videos, and then we can upload a new chapter. So with a new chapter, we could go in and call this module two the basics right and then we just go in and add all of these lessons once again do we want this multimedia video pdf any of these options we can then go in and create a lesson right here and do the exact same thing so that is how you can go ahead and build out a course and then we can also of course go in and add digital products as well so we can go in and what would you like to name this file we can call this getting started with digital products ebook we can then click on create and then in here we can go ahead and configure files and add all of the files that we would like to upload to this so i'm going to go in and we can upload this pdf right here and now that is added people will be able to come in and simply download this when they are part of your community so that is how we can set up both courses and digital downloads right here uh, what we can also do is we can set up a calendar so this is more so if you are a coaching program, we can go in and we can either set up a calendar booking or we can set up one specific event. If we go into calendar booking, we can just click on create right here and we go to configure. You can set up your availability and then people will be able to come in here and book on your calendar so that they can do Zoom calls, coaching programs, whatever you are trying to do. Then we have play. This is not something I want to touch on for too long as this is not super important, but this is essentially going to allow people to spin the wheel and win prizes and then also guess the score of NFL games, NBA games, any of these options. So not super important as a digital product seller, but a pretty cool tab nonetheless. Uh, we can also go in and inside of tools, we can sell software if you want to sell a specific software and you can gatekeep this via license keys. We can embed a website or an app we can add webhooks in right here. And then in the final tab inside of integrations, this is where you can hook up and sell either a Discord or Telegram community. And you can have this as part of WAP. So that is the back end. That is how you can create everything on the back end that you are going to have in your WAP. And then to get to the front end, we click on this store icon right here. And this is where we can create the front end of your store. So what people will see when they click on your WAP link, how they can actually purchase access to your WAP, that is how we set this up right here. So right at the top, the first thing that we can do is we can go ahead and upload media. And you want to start with one piece of media, uh, but just as an example, I'm going to go ahead 
and add three. So we can have this, we can have this, and then I'm going to upload one more piece of media, which is this. And then we can go ahead and click on save. And this media is now going to be added at the top. So we now have this area set up. We can go down and inside of here is going to show people what they actually get when they join our community. So we can see they get Instagram chat and YouTube chat that we set up. Zero to 10K with digital, with digital products course. We get the getting started with digital products ebook and their calendar booking system, which is the coaching program. So as you add more things in this area, as you add more apps, they will show up right here and your customers will be able to see what they're actually get before they buy. So we can go down and you can edit your profile right here. You might want to add an image of yourself. Who is this for? We can go ahead and edit personas right here. So we can go ahead and add this and we can say that this is going to be for beginners looking to get started with a digital products business. We can then go down and add a description. What I will do is I'll just copy and paste this to save some time and click on save. And then in here, these personas are now going to show up. So who is this for? Then down here, this is where we can price our WAP. So by default, this is set to free for lifetime because we haven't set pricing yet. And also we haven't set up our payment providers. So to do this, we just go into manage pricing right here. We can then go create a pricing option. And down here, we can see if we want to charge for this, we need to set up payouts before being able to share pricing links. So we just click in, then we want to click on set up WAP payments, choose the country that we are in and click on next. And then this is going to take us over to Stripe. So we create a Stripe account. And the way this works is WAP basically runs through Stripe. This is how we are able to accept cards. So we go in here, we create a Stripe account. Very easy, like just follow the instructions on the screen, enter in all of that information. And then once we have WAP payments set up, we can then go back to this area and in the pricing, we will then be able to go into pricing, create pricing options, and then you can create the pricing options for your WAP. Going down, we can then add in different benefits. So what are some benefits to this? Access to the zero to 10K per month course, which has a 1997 value. We can save that in there, and then we can add the other benefits in here. With frequently asked questions, we can do the same thing. We can add a question, and yeah, we'll just copy this one. What is the refund policy. We offer a full refund to anyone who isn't happy in 14 days. We can save this right there. And that is how we can create the FAQ section. Then reviews, we can't just go and add reviews, but when people actually leave reviews with us, they will show up right here. And then we have the affiliate section at the bottom. So we can go in, we can choose the affiliate reward percentage. So we could say like 20% if somebody refers somebody to me. We can add in different assets right here and images that people can use. Click on save and then this is the front end of our store created. So now we can simply go back here and we can grab our WAP link. We can open this up. I'll do this in incognito so that I'm not logged into this anymore, but we can open this up in a new page right here and we can see everything that we just answered. The FAQs become an affiliate right here. Everything that you can get in this is right here. And this is the checkout page that we take people to. So that is how you can create and sell digital products with WAP. Once again, I will leave my affiliate link in the description for the best place to get started. It will take you straight over to the onboarding page. But either way, if you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.